The Karolinska Institute in Sweden, that's best known for the Nobel Laureate program that has been operating for 100 years, is also well known for research in medical fields, focusing in some respects on heart, which is your area of specialty. You've now opened up in Hong Kong. Why is Hong Kong a great place from a regulatory and financial capital uh, perspective for the Karolinska Institute? The legal, uh, financial, education, and importantly in our area, biomedicine, the medical systems altogether, they are all very established. You know, uh, when it comes to innovation, biomedicine, uh, IP protection, common law, uh, that's extremely important. And when it comes to fundraising and things like that, uh, the financial system in Hong Kong, you know, is, uh, is really also very well established. And the transparency, that makes a lot of differences as well. The medical system as far as uh, uh, regulatory uh, uh, policies are concerned, that's also very well established. So, and the education, you know, uh, there are uh, nine universities in Hong Kong, therefore they're able to provide a constant workflow, uh, work, workforce. So uh, our mandate is to train next generation scientists in biomedicine, so uh, it, it checks all the boxes. And biomedical engineers have a lot of challenges coming up about targeting medications and you're doing a lot of you had a lot of breakthroughs in that area what is that about well i think it's uh it's a niche area but also very broad by definitions as well as far as our center in hong kong is concerned uh they are uh, the investigators are also working on new ways to deliver drugs but for the center we are more focusing uh, delivery uh, at the cellular level meaning that we are designing different vehicles to try to uh, deliver dna messenger rna and also different chemical entities to cells uh, of different parts of the body. How far do you think we are away from the general availability of gene therapies? Well, I think, uh, let me try to uh, answer your question, questions in two ways. Uh, uh, in, in general, uh, gene therapy, uh, the area is becoming uh, pretty mature. It's been around for uh, almost three decades now. So, uh, from a research perspective. Then also uh, from the commercialization perspective, if you take a look at the biotech area, there are a lot of uh, private and public companies that are specialized in uh, different forms of uh, gene therapy, gene delivery. So uh, I would say that the area has become quite mature. And, uh, you know, things that uh, the public gets to hear a lot these days, like CAR T, you know, right. for treating cancers. That's a form of uh, gene therapies as well, except you do the gene genetic modification of certain cell populations outside of the body. So there are different ways of looking at this. But I would say in general, it's pretty mature. So uh, we are seeing a lot of products emerging from the market. Cell therapies are pretty new. Uh, several years ago, uh, there weren't any trials, but now these days you're seeing a lot of different trials and the expectations is that it's really budding and we're going to be seeing more and more in the coming years. That's in general. And for the center, uh, we are also working with different partners and uh, trying to commercialize uh, or bring uh, gene and cell therapies uh, to, to the, the public community. I, it, it, that's a process. It takes time. So when the time comes, uh, we'll be making uh, separate announcements. What will be the next step for Karolinska in Hong Kong from a research perspective? Well, I think in Hong Kong, we are just kind of like we've just started. So we, uh, we just started our second year. So the, I think the idea that for the first year, we've been focusing on the infrastructure. Uh, we are paying a lot of attention to recruitment because the key thing is it's all about the people that we work with. For sure. We want to be able to recruit the best talents. So that's what we've been doing in the first year. And the second year, third year, uh, we're going to be focusing on incubation because it's going to take certain time. So uh, room wasn't built in a day. So and when it comes to uh, biomedicine, the same idea applies. When you think about the roadmap for breakthroughs in heart research, your area of specialty, what do you think is the next great thing on the horizon? Well, the heart, uh, uh, heart research happens to be my own area of expertise, but the center is also focusing on, uh, let's say, the central nervous system as well. Uh, and we have expertise also in the areas of ophthalmology and also for skin repair as well. Uh, specifically about uh, the area that my own uh, specialty, uh, heart research, what we are paying attention to a lot is to use mini organs or mini heart for facilitating uh, drug discovery and development. And subsequently, uh, in the intermediate term, so we think we're going to be able to uh, develop uh, new transplantable graft uh, for putting into patients as well.